everyone, and welcome back. This is the first bonus episode of Master Reboot. This is going to be showing all the duck locations of all the memories. These are going to be pretty quick videos because I've already gone through and I've made sure I know where all the ducks are, so I can just run through, show you all the ducks, and be good to go. This is the part where I've, I've decided that I'm going to read some of the ducks. Just if they're small and short and sweet, I'll read them real quick. But if they're really long, like that stupid poem in here, I will give you guys a chance to pause it and read it if you want. So anyway, this is just a first... It's... I'm thinking it's like a magazine or something. This, of course, is a picture. There's a chat log here that is from Astrid Patterson. I do know, or I don't know why it's not working. Madison Jones says, do you want me to have a check through it? Just copy and paste it into a word processor and I'll have a look. Astrid Patterson says, really, that would be awesome. And Madison Jones replies, no worries, I'm sure you're just missing a bracket somewhere. And then says Astrid Patterson has sent you Astrid Awesome Game Program dot text download. So apparently it was something about a game, I don't know, program that she made or something. There's that poem. Like I said, if you guys want to read it, go ahead and pause it now. And this one says my pewter programming made easy. Uh 306 free codecs included, 200, uh, 2 gigabytes preloaded memory card, 512 megabytes RAM, easy start guide. I'm guessing this is the, uh, the program that she was using to make a game. Guessing. And this is a letter from Hail Studios. Uh, it's still a little on the long side, so if you guys want to go ahead and pause it and read it, you can. I'm not going to read this. Alright, and now with that out of the way, we saw that there were six ducks. Let me show you where all of their locations are. This will be quite simple, because like I said, I just went through here and I already know where all the locations are. So, shouldn't be too difficult. First one that's the easiest to find is that one, of course. Then all the rest of the ducks are in here. We are not going to be getting any keys, because we do not need to solve any puzzles. We have already done this. I am just showing you guys where the ducks are. And the virus was down there, of course. But we have seen where all the viruses are. Some of the ducks we did miss, though, because I just didn't remember them. Alright, so the next duck is right here. Big giant duck. And then, well, let's find out if you can hurt yourself by jumping too far. Nope, you can't. Okay, good. Okay, so that was two ducks. This one over here is number three. I forgot to activate that one up there, but eh, it is a duck. Let's see, there's that one right there. So that's... What, one, two, three, four? Yep. Some of them I'll activate, some of them I won't, because I'm not going to climb up into that house. It's kind of stupid to do. Then the one that I was missing in here was actually in this maze. It was. Remember when I said there was blue over there? That was the duck. When I went over here and I was like, oh god, there's Saren. Well, the duck is right there. Oh, and I got caught by Saren, damn. But you saw the duck. You just have to be really careful, stick to the wall, make sure you're not too close to Saren, and you won't get caught. And now for the final place where the duck is. We know where this one is, but I'm just going to show you anyway, because why not? And I will go ahead and grab this key because it's a faster way out of this maze. Ah, uh, I'm out of stamina. Grr. That stamina problem is kind of a problem, but it's alright. 
you can see the duck over there through a hole in the whatever this wall is. There's the other duck. And so that is all six duck locations, my friends. Now, like I said, I'm gonna grab this key because it is an easy way out of the maze. Just like that. Takes you right back to the beginning. And now we can get the hell out of here. And go to the next one. Okay. So that was the childhood memory. The street memory has no ducks, it just has the radio recording which doesn't really come over well in the recording, so if you guys really do want to hear that, I might have to find some way of boosting it and maybe just not talk through it. It's interesting to hear, but it's not too long. Now let's go to the school memory. Here are all the ducks. This is a homework page. Not even really worth reading, just a whole bunch of notes and saying that they're bored, and the heart over there is MJ and DR, Madison, Johnson, I think is her name, and David Reed. Or Reed, sorry. A summer report. Um, it is a report card for Astrid Patterson. And the uh, tutor's notes say Astrid is an intelligent, hardworking pupil. If she applied herself in every subject, not just math, I am sure she would succeed. Apparently she does very well in math, as you can see, A+, plus, and all the rest of them not so well, especially drama and music. This, I have no idea what this is. This is binary, so I'm guessing... I don't know, maybe, maybe some kind of homework? A notice of a detention for Collie Patterson. Uh, let's see, reason for assigning detention was disruptive in class, threatening behavior towards other students. Homework diary has also been covered in graffiti. So that's not good. Like I said, Kali has problems. More homework. No graffiti, please, David. I don't know what they were talking about graffiti. I don't see any graffiti on here. It looks like all homework to me. I don't know. This is the fortune teller, the inside of the fortune teller. You guys can pause this and read it if you want. It's not amazing, it's just, you know, a fortune teller. This right here, I think, is Kali's homework. And you might notice this picture. This is the picture we've been building with the viruses as well. Just drawn with a pencil. And it says this is unacceptable, see me, because of course she turned this into the teacher, why would you do that? Anyway, for eight, it says the Patterson Twins Scoop Prizes. I think that is Astrid and Kali? Is Kali a Patterson? Hold on. Kali Patterson, yeah. So Kali and Astrid are sisters. I was not aware of that, but yeah, that is Kali and Astrid. And as you can tell, there's eight ducks in this level. Now, let's go find them all. This, it seems like it would take a long time because there's eight ducks, but like I said, I know where they are now. Still have to wait through the cutscenes though. But anyway, the first duck is right here. Of course, that is the first duck. Like I said, I'm not going to activate them. I did before, but I'm not going to now. This locker is actually openable. And once you open it, you get that duck. Now, let's see. This is the music room. As you can tell, there's a duck right there on the piano. I'm trying not to get too close to activate the puzzle. You can see it right there. That is number three, or duck number three. Now, I'm not doing them in any order of the ducks, I'm just doing them as I come to them. There's four. So we've already found half the ducks in the level. What was this one? Yeah, it's just a puzzle room. There's no ducks in there. 
so we've already got four. There's five on top of that locker. There's none in there. And remember, to get this one, you have to go towards the locker and she pops out at you. And then the duck falls, so that was five. There is six in the water there, in the pool. Seven over there by Sarah. And the eighth one is right here. And that is all the ducks in this level. And these bonus videos are basically just going to be a way for people to read the ducks if they want to. I'll read some of them. And um, if anybody's having trouble finding ducks, I'm showing everybody where the ducks are. That way, if you play this game for yourself, you can just look through this video and find out where all the ducks are. Alright, school memory is done. Now for the park memory. Park memory had four ducks. There's text here that says, See you tomorrow, lovely. Night, night. Where are you? We are meeting in the park, right? Over by the swings. Lol, I see you. This is David and Madison texting. As you can see, it says David Re at the top. Ah, uh, this is a little note. D arrives standing by swing set. New haircut. Who is he texting? M arrives. Her dress makes her look fat. They kiss? This note was written by Kali. She was spying on Madison and David. As she says in this note, she likes David. She understands that he has a new haircut and that she doesn't like Madison. M is Madison and she's saying that her dress looks bad. It makes her look fat. So yeah, she is not, she is not a fan of Madison. I'm guessing these are all three of them? Yep, Kali, Madison, and Astrid. So that was all of them, and then this... I... I don't know. I think I know, but I don't know, maybe you guys will be able to figure that one out. Anyway, I'll show you where all the ducks are in here. There were four ducks, so this will be very simple to do. Since this is where the node is, I'm thinking this is where she watched them from this tree, which would make sense because if they were in the park, then watching them from that tree would make sense because she wouldn't get caught. I don't know though, maybe I'm just reading too much into it. Anyway guys, I do hope you enjoyed this bonus video of looking at the initial memories, showing off the duck locations, and showing you guys the ducks, just in case. Now, if you can't read them all and you do want to read them, please let me know and I'll try and post a picture or something along the lines of that. I'll try and clean it up because I know it's not the best quality, but it should be readable, I'm hoping. Anyway, guys, my name is Vitavis Prime. Sorry about that. Bumped my mic. Um, I hope you enjoy my videos of Master Reboot. I hope you enjoy all my videos on my channel. And if you do, just give it a like. It does help out a lot. And subscribe if you want to see more videos. And I will see you guys in the next bonus video of Master Reboot. See you later. Take it easy. Bye.